we are doing and what, uh, why we are doing, we have really established these fundamental values. They are essential in the business because you have to build the trust, you have to establish a relationship, and you have to tell these guys, okay, what we are doing here is in your interest. Um, working open books is one of the elements I would just pick up there. The transparency you have to show. The Olympic committees are in between. They are private entities, depending on the countries, more or less largely funded by the national governments. Uh, they have the private sector sponsoring, so they are kind of in between the two. Therefore, it is essential for us to tell them, okay, this is our cost structure, that is why we are asking you this amount of money, and that is what you get for it. Um, we, are, we have to do this commitment, we have to tell them. When we are working, so our target audience is about 30 something countries, um, you have to make this really very clear to the, to the other countries. Our communication objectives, as we have defined them, is that we are a partner for their success. Obviously, they know we are with them. Obviously, we don't have to hide this to make a profit. That's for a business relationship. But our objective is really to make them proud of their organization in the uh, city during the Olympic Games. So our role is really to make them successful, because in the National Olympic Committee, that has a nice house that can host its uh, guests uh, properly and uh, with, with in a nice way, well, definitely gets a better return uh, than people. So we really have to make sure they understand that we are in there to help them. The uh, second element is to make sure as well that we are the sole provider. Right now, and I'm confident that it will stay that way, there is nobody else offering this service. And we have to make sure it stays that way. Um, so we are the unique partner that is within the Olympic family to do that. And we have to establish ourselves as, as that. And we are part of the Olympic family, and I will explain how we have participated in that into actions, or which actions we have taken to be considered and to be part of the Olympic family and recognized among the national partners. Who do we want to catch? We have seen, can you see the nice picture that I have there? We're trying to get Hold on. Um, we have uh, 30 something Olympic committees. Within the Olympic committees, you have a board of directors, you have a secretary general, and you have a marketing department. So that puts you already different messages to different uh, units within the National Olympic Committees. We have institutional uh, supporters like the Council of Europe uh, yesterday, who could be a partner or a supporter, or the European Commission. Uh, who are really big uh, institutional partners who could come on board if we say there is a European identity, a European play um, at stake. And we have in some countries um, to deal with national, obviously, or regional authorities. When we talk uh, like, uh, for about a country like Belgium, you have uh, I think three sports ministers. Uh, regional level and they all have to organize their own and they all have to give their blessing on the right way uh, how things happen. <coughs> so the messages we are communicating and how are we translating those messages is to say we are a facilitator. Um, for an Olympic uh, committee, marketing department usually, organizing a house of their country is a lot of work. We, them to have the resources, financial, human resources, and to get it organized. It is a huge challenge. Uh, some of the Olympic committees have a team of one, two, three people, and for them to get set up uh, something like that in a city, London is still okay, but talk about Rio, um, it, is, it is almost impossible. So we really have to tell them that we are facilitated of, of their work. The second level is that we are a responsible partner, so we are at equal with them. We don't steal anything, we, uh, we are, they pay us for what, they, what we do, we have a proper profit margin, but that is it. We are a partner that helps them. So that is really an essential element in the structure and in the way that we communicate. 
And there's a third one is the family. So I said we have to make sure that they recognize us as being a part of the Olympic family, because if you're not recognized as a member of the Olympic family, it is uh, pretty difficult to, to open doors. So how have we opened the doors? Well, we have used uh, some boxing, some pushing, and um, internal procedures. My associate is the official Olympic ticketing agency for Belgium, Macedonia, um, and in seven other countries, including Ukraine. Um, so he is already with a foot in the door. And he has done a master's degree in Olympic uh, management. So that is a thesis which you have to present, which is presented in Lausanne. So we, and he presented his thesis on this house of Europe. So the idea has already made its way into the plan, into the International Olympic Committee. Um, they have heard about it. Right now we have the chance that the president of the uh, Olympic Committee is a Belgian, uh, Dr. Jacques Rogge. So if the Belgian Olympic Committee talks, we have some doors that, that um, can open. The second thing is the Belgian Olympic Committee um, that has been a wonderful supporter because they realize that their standalone house was not a solution, so that they needed to find partners with whom they would go on the board of this one. So they have sent out a letter, so the Belgian Olympic Committee has sent out a letter to all of the presidents of the 47, 46 um, National Olympic Committees, telling them this is the, the initiative that we are supporting, and please come and join us. Um, it was a wonderful support on their side, and it is something, if we had sent that letter, would have never had the same success. Second element is the face-to-face -face relationship. I think I spent uh, hours on the telephone um, with each of the different National Olympic Committees. We went into the meetings of the European Olympic Committees in, uh, in Belgrade, where we made face-to-face -face presentations. Um, we opened a uh, really good relationship there collected the business cards and established a face-to-face -face relationship with all of the markets to let them know who you are and build the trust um, with these guys. Finally, working at, as a corporate um, <coughs> diplomat, the idea is really to have as many entries um, into, the, uh, into the Olympic family as possible, be it at the National Olympic Committees, and we do not necessarily know who the decision takers are, um, that can be the Secretary General, that can be the board, that can be a mixture. But it is not always very easy to, to get hold of the decision makers. So we need to multiply as much as possible the um, entries. Our milestones um, is very simple. It is the number of countries who will sign up uh, in, the, in the project. Um, that is a challenge. Uh, we've been working on it uh, for London. Um, we are working on it for Sochi, and we are already preparing for Rio. So the, the um, milestone number one would really be the final number of countries that will sign up um, on, on joining the 